you look at these farmers who put in 18, 20 hour days, you know, if rains are coming, guess what? We've got to get seed in the ground today. It has to be done. Someone has to be helping put that information out there. People don't understand where their food comes from. And I, I want to close that gap between the consumer and the farmer. I grew up on a small livestock operation. And when I was six or seven years old, actually I was six years old, my brother started showing pigs. Well, I've always looked up to my big brother. And when I started, or I saw him starting to show pigs, I kept saying, well, I want to do the same. I want to do the same. And so uh, that was what immediately started my, my love for agriculture. I love being around livestock. And so I got involved with 4-H, um, got into FFA when I was in eighth grade, which was my brother's first year of teaching agriculture. He was at a different school. Well, then my junior year of high school, he actually became my ag teacher. And so that really even pushed, he pushed me even more into agriculture. And my senior year of college, I kept saying, well, I don't know what I'm going to major in. I don't know what I want to do. And I was really involved with prepared public speaking and knew I was going to run for state FFA office. And, you know, I knew I loved all of that kind of stuff. And finally he said, well, have you ever heard of agricultural communications? And it's a degree. And I said, no, oh, well. And at that time, it was still it was still fairly new. And so, you know, a lot, not a lot of people had heard about it. So I um, graduated from University of Arkansas, Bachelor's of Science in Ag Communications with a minor in Ag Education in uh, May of 2013. It, you know, gave me the Ag Science background and the technical agriculture knowledge but it also gave me that public relations communications and how do I put the story of agriculture out there and uh, so we share content we every Friday we do a farm fact Friday it's an image with a quick fact you know uh, Arkansas is number one in rice production we uh, produce so many soybeans per year uh, you know whatever it may be just for people to to realize wow agriculture is it's the number one industry in Arkansas Farm Family of the Year is a it's a rewarding program to be a part of I mean I get to work with some of best families in the state who have the biggest passion for agriculture and for farming and for feeding a growing population and to see them I mean day in and day out uh, the families are just I can't say enough good about them and the respect I have for them is out of this world I was talking to our current Arkansas farm family of the year Nathan and Kristen Reed and excuse me Kristen told me that Nathan, well, yeah, well, Nathan will finish planting tonight. I was like, so, you know, do you know roughly what time of night? Nope, he just, he'll be done, he'll be done by in the morning, so he may be working all night. And I already had a lot of respect for, for farmers and for what they did, but even more so now. This is just, like I said, it's turned into such a rewarding program to be a part of. Um, this was actually my first opportunity to work with the high schoolers on social media. But up until this point, I've actually been doing training sessions with the county farm bureaus, with the boards, the women's committees, to educate them on social media. Um, and so teaching them how to manage a Facebook page, uh, what to post, what not to post, what are, what are the good times of the day to post. I mean, really getting into those, those nitty gritty details for them and uh, teaching them the strategy behind Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And uh, that's been a really great opportunity to work with a group of people who didn't grow up around technology and social media, kind of like I did. And whereas, you know, the adults are, you know, they, they focus in a little bit more so. And with high schoolers, I'm like, hey, here's some candy. <laughs> Eat some candy. We'll talk. Let's, let, you know, let's communicate here. But like I said, with the high schoolers, they have such a good understanding of how social media works that we can dive even deeper into the strategy behind social media. Um, but the average consumer today is three generations removed from production agriculture. They think that go to the grocery store and the food just magically appears there, that people just don't understand where their food comes from. And with working with the farm family program and understanding the work that goes into these, to the larger farms, uh, and you know, the, the families who put in so much work that I, I wanna close that gap between the consumer and the farmer.